Hello, this is Judy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be working on sketch number 17 of Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, round number 9, put on by Christy. And it is a great event. A lot of different people participating, so make sure you check out all the links in the video description so you can see lots of inspiration. And today's sketch is made by Sean Styles Lar. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but... I like this hand-drawn sketch, and the Dottie About Flare is to use Flare, or the Dottie About Flare. The Dottie About Flare prompt is to use Flare, and I'm imagining that's where these circles are. I don't have a lot of Flare, and I don't have any for what I'm going to scrapbook, so I'll probably just use circles, and I don't know, maybe I will embellish them so they look nice and <laughs> shiny or I'll use our new shiny cardstock I don't know we'll see so it's a two-page layout and I pulled out some photos and they're buried under all the paper I got out of around our house every year I try and take pictures around the house so I can see what's changed and the flowers and how they come up so I take photos of different angles of our house because we moved into this old farmhouse and every year we update. It's a you know work in progress. I'm sure all of us have things like that. So I take photos on a nice day and I walk around the property and take it from different angles. So these are great for using on the two page layout. And I want to include the flowers, add some color and interest. So that's what I'm going to scrapbook. And I, again, I'm going to use the Info Bloom paper collection because it's on my table and I might as well make use of it. And it fits for the photographs, uh, the blue and the greens. So I will be using these again. I'm not sure which ones. I do like this paper. And I really like this journaling. This is exclusive paper that's only in the scrapbooking workshop, which is what all these papers are from. And I generally buy more than one so I can use the papers however I want. Isn't this gorgeous? I love this paper. I love this border. <laughs> but you know me and borders. If you don't know, I love borders. This is the bulk paper. So I thought I'd pull that in. I, I used the green stripe yesterday's video and layout. So I don't know if I'll use that again. And I love that knit paper. And then there's the white daisy. And this is from the Mixins. It's lots of words. And there are some very distinct uh, borders in this layout here. And I thought it would be fun to have the words going up and down like this. So we'll see. I might. And the back of that paper is gorgeous too. I love this. We haven't had a collection like this in a while. And this is from the Mixin. It's a nice um, lagoon. And this is, they call it a almost an animal print, like a leopard. So it's nice and muted from that lagoon. And then this is really busy, so I don't know. And then I brought in the yellow for a poppy yellow. It's my favorite color, so I would love to use it. And again, I brought these out that I punched out yesterday. And I've got a bunch of the frames left. I don't know if I'll incorporate any of those. I might be able to cut them apart and use them as pieces. The light bulbs, probably not. This is the piece left over from yesterday. I love the zip strip with the butterflies. So let's see what else I got. I didn't use any of the stickers, so I might be able to use some of those. And then this paper. This is one of the papers that I really want to try and use. It's this lemonade gingham. And there's a dot on the back, but I like the gingham. So I will get a little more figured out here and show you what I come up with. Hey, I took out some heavyweight white cards. Well, it's not white cardstock. It's white on this side, but it's cardstock I picked up at Tuesday morning. It's very heavy, so I use it for my backgrounds rather than use up my white daisy. And... I laid out the photos where I want to have them and put these uh, on my versamat and attach them so that they stay there while I'm figuring out what I'm going to do. So I've got these photos here. This is a 4x5, but I think I'm going to use these two because I want both of those photos. 
And over here, there's two photos here and a four inch and a three inch. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these down, of course, but then I'm going to use this to make a little scene to cut that out. Cause this photo, I don't like the wires in it. So I'm okay with cutting it down. I think the important part will be cut out with the circles. So that'll bring in some of the circle elements. Now for these black strips, I was going to use that cardstock that had the words on it. But while I was looking through the things, I said, oh my gosh, look at those two are perfect. So I'm going to use these two sticker elements down the sides of the flowers as the border detail here. And then I'm going to need to get one here. There is another one here, so I could use the black cardstock then. Um, so... I don't see anything else right now. I think this will probably be some of that yellow cardstock as the pop of color, but that's where my mind is thinking right now. So I've been working on this composition for a little bit and trying to make it work for me because you know, sometimes it just doesn't. So you have to go with the flow and it's starting to come to together now. So I'm gonna look at the sketch again. So. I brought in these blue pieces. First, I put these photos down with those borders. I love it, love, love, love. The other piece I brought in was this blue paper to put on both sides, which would be here. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is have those black borders I cut out. So there's one here and one over here, which would be here and here. Of course, this one could go over the circle and the circle is, this was from that In Full Bloom cut apart sheet or laser cut sheet. Um, so that worked perfect for the circle and I did put it on the black. This is the two photos mounted with that yellow gingham, which I did with these photos. And then I put the green stripe here and here. So that'll bring that across. For the bottom here, this is going to be my journaling because I don't have a lot to say. It's just, you know, my normal thing that I do every year, take these photos. And uh, I didn't like how it looked on the blue. It was lost, so I wanted to put it with something behind it, and I think the green will fit well there. And I put a, a few more circle elements here to mimic these. The title I need to do, I think I'm going to stamp it this time. This is a stamp set I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to do Home Sweet Home 2021, right? Simple. There are no numbers on here, though, so I'm going to have to find some numbers. But what this is, is you can stamp it here and then put a color with the solid image on, on top. And that, because it's on these pieces of paper here, I can mimic that and do letter tiles and what else oh i love this tag so i brought that in and then i also brought in a bunch of the flowers from that laser cut sheet to see which ones i would i would use now probably won't use the blue ones because there there is blue but there isn't with the floral elements i don't think that's going to work the yellow yes so i'm going to set these aside for now and see how i get it to work I did cut a couple of the stitch circles from that UV gloss paper, and I only did two to start with. I'm gonna have to do another one or more to bring in uh, three elements, you know, for clusters. So you, need, you need to do things in threes or odd numbers. It's more pleasing to the eye, it looks better. Um, I do have this other blue circle here that could mimic the blue circle, so that could work. We'll see how that is. I did stamp on some of these green circles with um, some floral images and some stitched lines. And that's, I used this stamp set for this floral element, which is actually an O in Mom. And <clears throat> I used the stitch borders to do the other ones. I loved how that looks on those circles. Just to add a little interest, but not too much. So I like how it's coming together. Two, two page layouts are sometimes hard with a sketch like this, for me anyway. So I'm going to get my title stamped and see how that goes. And then I'm going to start layering things before I adhere them because 
if I don't like it, I want to be able to take it up. But it's hard to know if I'm going to like it without having everything where I want it. So I'll move along. And... All right. I have got everything laid out how I like it. And it's really pretty. I don't know if everything's going to stay where it is because it is quite busy. But I think that has to do because there's so many photos. I'm almost thinking that I might want to mount these on black to bring them to the interest and attention getting that this one is getting because it's on the black circle. I may want to put some black under here to bring that to life as well. This is a good tip for many close to my heart makers or anyone that has close to my heart stamps. The inserts that go with your stamps here, this is really nice black paper that's really good for layering. So don't throw those away. They're good for this. I finished this off camera because it was taking me a while. So I just wanted to take my time and get it done. And you didn't want to see a two hour video, but I thought I'd show you what I finished. I really like it. I calmed it down a lot, added that black border around here and I added black here, and I also added some of the black embellishments from the Info Bloom um, die cut pack. And the title, I was gonna stamp it, but it would have been too big. So I found this on Cricut and love it, love it, love it. I cut it out of that UV coated card, and look at how tiny some of those came out, and it cut so nice. I just can't tell you how much I like that cardstock. Um, I have journaling to do here, very minimal because, you know, this is something I do every year and the little embellishment clusters, I did two here and I did two here and that's okay because it all keeps everything together. I did do the black borders on both sides and I hope that's in frame. So let me bring it over a little bit farther. I did the black border here and I did the circles for the, would have been the flare embellishments. That's okay. I could do the circles, that, that was good. I'm not used to using them in this manner, so maybe that's what was um, giving me a little anxiety attack in trying to get this done. But I like it, I really like it now. So I hope you, <laughs> I know you didn't see much of the process, but I hope you enjoy the final um, layout. It's really pretty and eye-catching. These papers are just so nice. So make sure you check out the other people that are doing these sketch videos this day. And their links are in the video description. And if you could like and subscribe and comment and share it would be wonderful thank you so much close-ups at the end of course have a great day